still wearing stuff out. Oh my god, he is funny. He's good with everybody. The only time he's aggressive is if he gets out the front door on his own uh, and he sees another dog. Uh, otherwise, um, if he's inside or if he's on a leash, he's good. Uh, he is good with all the kids. He doesn't care who it is. He's always he's protective of the kids. He's protective of me and my wife. And um, uh, he's got a real sweet temperament, just like a little puppy. He has personality of a puppy. Sit. Hey, my, my dad got Snuffy, um, uh, I think about eight years ago he got her. She was 10 months old when he bought her and uh, my father uh, died last December so she's my inheritance I guess. <laughs> you stay still for me. You stay still for a minute. It's okay. <laughs> Get your ears up. Want a cookie? Where's the cookies? He's the smartest dog I've got. Friend of my wife's daughter. They lived in a hammock. And uh, they were going to sell him at a yard sale. <laughs> and I don't know where they got him, but they told him, we told him, bring him up and we'll take him. So I went over and got him. So that, that was a... Uh, 11 years ago. He was about nine months old when we got him. He's a good dog. He's the smartest dog we got. He lets you know when the water is empty and when he wants a cookie and he knows where the cookies are in the back. He's a nice dog. This is Mona. She is a Brussels Griffin. She'll be one year old on November 4th. And she is just a flying furball. She's got her little party dress on today. She has the tiny little white teeth that her lower jaw goes out, that is typical of her breed. The little smushed face. Grandma calls her Mona Monkey Face. I see teeth. Go show your teeth. Oh. Oh. Don't be licking the camera. <laughs> yes, sir. See where the fence is bowed out? That's from him rubbing on it. Oh, we were looking for a mate for the female and seen him in the paper. The guy brought him over. Now he's just an old dirty yard dog. Who was it? Yeah, boys. Uh, he's a three year old bull terrier. We got him close to Miami, Lake Okeechobee. No, uh, he loves playing soccer and car rides. He lo definitely loves sticks. He's got a local website. It's uh, myspace.com slash rudeboydaytona. He'll sit by the stove when we're cooking dinner, hoping to get a little bit. We don't give him any processed dog food. He gets all ground sirloin, chopped up carrots, broccoli, peas. So he's better than half the humans I know. My original Sharpe had died of cancer and we looked in the uh, Penny Saver magazine uh, newspaper and we found an, uh, an ad for Sharpays. And we went out to a farm and our Sharpe was, this particular Sharpe was in a pig pen because it had entropia where its eyes had been matted shut. It had never opened its eyes. So it had been in pain like six months. And um, finally um, I came along and who wants to buy a, a blind Sharpe? But I took a picture of it and I couldn't get her out, him out of my mind, so I went back and I bought the Sharpe and then I went down to the veterinarian and had a $650 operation. So I got a chance to, for him to see his very first sight ever was for chasing butterflies and squirrels and now he goes to the park out at Barkley Park every day, right almost a block or two where, from where he originally lived. But all his brothers and sisters are still living in the pig pen. Now he's riding around in a red convertible. <laughs> so he's also, um, he's the military order of the Purple Heart Sharpe. We're gonna be using him for fundraising and for um, therapy, for pet therapy in the old soldiers' homes. She's five years old. Uh, she was born with a cleft palate. That's why her nose is crooked the way it is and her little snout is 
I don't even notice it anymore. I'm so used to it, but <laughs> she's a frisky little girl. She loves to chase squirrels in the backyard and lizards and people ask me all kinds of questions. Did another dog? Uh, did she get in a dog fight or something? What happened to her nose? I said, no, she was born that way. This is Koei. He's a Shih Tzu. He's six years old. He's my best buddy. He is also um, a really good traveling companion. I've flown with him a couple times. We've driven to Massachusetts and back. He's a great traveler. He loves to vacation. Um, wherever I go, he likes to go. He's done pet therapy at the nursing homes up north and down here. He loves people and children, and he really is a good little dog. Oh, oh, mm, nope. This is really gross. Did anybody tell me I was doing this? Darling on it. Oh. This is Beauregard, and we got Beauregard in July of this year, 2008, from um, Sarasota Animal Pound. Um, he was out there, and after six years, some family decided they didn't want him. His tongue doesn't go in because he has no teeth to hold it in, so it's always out. Whenever he's laying down, it's rolled all out. So. If he's laying down, it's rolled out on the cool tile. Like the red carpet. Right. Um, he has these things that hang off of him. They say they're from concrete, so he has little things to flap when he runs. <gasps> Look at that mouth. Oh.